What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel and for today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu news video it is all about the last batch of cards that will be in Dark Wing Blast. Now I'm gonna be honest a lot I was I was going through these and I realized that a lot of these are actually pretty crazy including this one which is a which is a brand new runic card for the runic archetype that I just I had just recently talked about and um it's actually pretty crazy. It's it's pretty crazy. Um Some of these are are, are pretty cool, but I wanted to talk talk about the 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 OCG's, you know, campaign card that 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 they have and it's basically the prismatic rare the the prismatic uh, 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 secret rare for the bonus pack that that each course that has in the OCG which is actually black wing dragon which honestly it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't really surprise me I'm assuming though that black wing dragon might be might be the starlight of of the TCG set, which is a possibility, but we'll see. But that's base. That is the. That is the um. The OCG reprint, uh, if you will, for for the set. So hopefully you guys are ready for this video. If you guys are and you guys want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh news videos, which get posted every Tuesday, sometimes on weekends. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and as all and as always, follow me on all of my social media. Links will be in the description below. And of course, if you have fan mail that you want to send me, all the info will be in the description as well. And let's get straight into it. Kicking things off, we have we have Frecky. We have we have what? Frankie the Runic Fangs, which I believe is how it's pronounced. I probably butchered that. Which is a 5-star Dark Beast fusion with 2,000 attack and 0 defense and requires 2 Runic monsters. I'm assuming we may get support, may get the monster support for them, but who knows. But, but, funny enough, I believe you can actually use this as an, as an, as an instant fusion target as well. Which is actually kind, of, which actually makes the deck even more crazy. So it has three, three separate, three separate effects, and the third effect is a once per turn. The effect, re the first effect reads: when, when an attack is declared involving this card in the extra monster zone, you can banish the top two cards of, of your opponent's deck. Again, again, as I said, you know, before with the runic ar archetype, this basically, this base, it, it, it's a deck that, that. That force mills your opponent's deck, basically. And if they have no cards to, to draw, they lose on automatically. So I'm actually tempted to build this deck. Actually, uh, second effect reads: Neither player takes damage from battles involving this card. I mean that. I mean, I mean that's not too bad. But to be fair. To be fair, there are so many outs to that to that effect. It's just absolutely stupid. Third effect reads: If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target a runic quick play spell in your grave, add it to your hand. So it's basically graveyard spell and trap Rota. So it's 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 not too bad. It's not too bad. It gives it gives you access to add, add you know as it suggests pretty much any quick any quick play spell that, that, that you have at your disposal to your hand. From your graveyard, it gives you um, it gives you the opportunity to to mill from from their deck and and banish them, and not and neither you nor your opponent will be able to take be able to take damage. But that doesn't matter because well because well this deck because well, well the deck is more of a more of a control style deck, if you will. Kind of like a, kind of like a anti-meta card, if not card, an anti-meta strategy, if you will. So 
That ain't too shabby. Um, next up, we have Upside Down. Yeah, I I know I know we I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, wait a minute, what? What the fuck? Yeah, it that's the name of the card, and it's a normal trap that reads: add the bottom card of your deck to your hand, then place one card from your deck on the bottom of the deck. To be fair, to be fair, it could give you give you the card that you were meant to draw. I mean, I mean. Who the fuck am I kidding? The card is just so bad. It's a bad, bad card. I mean, yeah, technically it is like a Stratos, te te technically speaking. But to be fair, but to be fair, you could take one of the bricks that's in your deck, put it on, on put it on the bottom of the deck, and you won't have to deal with it for a while unless if you shuffle and you end up top decking it, in which case it's going to be a problem. So, yeah, that's, yeah. Alright, all right, you guys, now for the last of the card, now for the rest of the cards. First up, we have, we have Hanshi Kyudo, Kyudo, Kyudo Spirit, which is a 5-star Wind Warrior Pendulum, 2400 attack, 1000 defense, and pen skill is 9, and the pendulum effect reads, if a monster is pendulum summoned, return this card to the hand. So, it's a nice little... Night. I mean, it's a nice little compulse, and then you just, you know, just activate, it, you know, just place it back on the pendulum zone. And you're pretty much just good to go. Not much else else to say about that. Um, sorry, guys. I if you if you hear me sniffling, it's not be, it's not because I have COVID or, or anything. It's, it's just it's just that it's a little stuffy in here. My window is like slightly open. I have to open it up a little bit more. Anyway, the monster effect has two separate effects. The first effect reads, when this card is normal summon, you, you can return as many of your cards in, in the same column as your cards in the pendulum zone as possible to the hand. Then you can add, add a monster with 24 attack and a thousand defense from your deck to your hand except this card. Okay, so it's basically a monarch. It's a, it's essentially a monarch, which is hilarious. And I think monarchs are 24 a thousand, aren't they? Let's see. Go to deck editor. I'll choose this one. <sighs> Excuse me. Twenty-four hundred attack, thousand defense. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's 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 essentially a monarch, which is just insane. Uh, second uh, second effect reads: Once per turn during the end phase of this card is if this card was was normal. Summon or fully face up this turn, return it to the hand. So, yeah, so it, it it's 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 essentially a monarch. It's essentially a monarch with the same with the same attack attack and defense stats. You can easily compulse compulse cards back back to the hand, and it's also a rota. So you can easily rota out cards such as like Zayborg, Zayborg, the Stalos. I think Jinzo might be another card that you can use. Cause te cause technically speaking, cause te technically speaking, Jinzo is a monarch. Sort well, mm, sort of, sort of. It's basic. It's um, it's got fifteen fifteen hundred defense, so it's sort of like a. Sort of, sort of like a monarch, but <sighs> oh, excuse me. But still, basically, it, again, I get it's a, it's a really bad monarch, to say the very least. There's a note underneath that says Kyoto is the is the martial art of archery. So that's not that, that's pretty cool. The more, the more you know. Um, next up, we have Laughing Puffin, the Jester Bird. Fuck. Um, four star dark dark wing beast, a thousand attack, seventeen hundred defense, and both of its effects are once per turn. And the first effect reads: If there's a face up spell, spell trap on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. 
Second effect reads, reads you, you contribute a wing beast monster. The target of face up spell trap on the field returns to the hand. And you cannot activate cards or effects or the effects of cards with the same with that name for the rest of the turn. And it's a quick effect if all monster control are wing beast monsters. <coughs> Excuse me. Um Black Wings much? I mean I mean it I mean I mean it makes sense. It makes sense, right? I mean this set is revolving around Black Wings and this card can technically be used in Black Wings, which is hilarious. Plus, plus it's plus it's a four star, so you're pretty much just you. So you can easily use use him plus I think Vada plus Vada and I want to say. <sighs> What was it, uh, Harman, Harman the Dust, and you can summon Blackwing Dragon right, right off the bat. That, that's, actually, that's actually pretty good. Next up, we have Doom Tune GT19. Uh, basically, it looks like a bat, it basically looks like a Batmobile. It literally looks like... It literally, and I'll try and show it off... Literally, it looks like a fucking bat Batmobile. Am I the only one who realize who who realizes that it, it literally that it looks like a Batmobile right now? That's that is like hilarious, but like so weird. Anyway, 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 Doom Doom. Doom Tune's, uh, Doom Tune is a three-star fire machine flip tuner with 500 attack and 1500 defense, and both of its effects are a hard once per turn. The flip effect, which is the first effect, so the first effect, which is a, l let me rephrase, the first effect, which is a flip effect, reads, you can declare a, a level from one, from one to nine, this card becomes the declared the declared level until the end of the turn. So it's it, it's essentially it's essentially a Destrudo, for the most part. Is, is it Destrudo? Let's see. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it basically becomes a it's it, it's essentially a Destrudo. On steroids, for the most part. Um, second effect reads: During the main phase, during the main phase, if this card was flipped face up as a quick effect, you can target one other face up monster in the field, and immediately after this effect results, secret summon using only that monster and this card. So it's basically, it's basically Destrudo. It's basically Destrudo Formula Synchron roll, rolled in a one, and there's a note un un underneath that says this card's name is a pun of Makai of Makai Zu Zu made in the underworld, and Kaizu remodeling or tuning as in tuned by or for the underworld. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I don't read kanji. Unfortunately, but that's actually pretty crazy. That's pretty cool. But yeah, but. But yeah, this card is basically is basically form is basically Destrudo and um and Formula Synchron rolled into one. So basically, you can not only manipulate the level of of this card, but you can also Synchro Summon during during your opponent's main phase, and you can instantly go into potentially a Borderlord Savage Dragon and then just take and then just equip. Him with, with Link Monster, and you essentially just have, have a, a pretty good amount of, of negation on board, which is really cool. Next up, we have Psychic Rover, which is a two-star Dark Psychic, obviously, zero attack, seven hundred defense, and it has two separate effects. The first effect reads, reads if this card is special, if if this card is special summon, you can roll a six-sided die, and and if the result is a one or a six. Destroy up to two cards on the field. So, so funny thing is that you can actually use use emergency teleport on on this card, and its first effect would trigger, which is hilarious. Um, 
the second effect reads, if this card is sent to the grave, you can roll a six-sided die, and if the result is two, three, four, or five, special summon this card, and you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck while this card is summoned this way. While this card is summoned this way is face up in the monster zone. Um That's actually that's that that's pretty cool, but there are so many outs to it, so it's a really bad it's a really bad like I would say, um, I would say, I would say Snipe Hunter, but it's more of a monster, but it has more of a, more of a monster reborn effect. So, yeah, so te technically it's, it's a really bad Snipe Hunter, to be, to be honest. Next up, we have Spirit, Spirit Kukumbak, Kukumbak Horse. Which is a eight-star dark plant. What? Plant? What the hell? Should be a fucking beast. Damn. Damn. What the hell's going on here? Anyway, 8 star dark plant with all amazingly 100 attack and 2000 defense. And it's an 8 star monster. What the hell? The second effect is a once per turn. And the first effect reads unless it is, it, unless it is the battle phase, send this card to the grave. Second effect reads, at the start of the battle phase, if this card is in your grave, you can send a plant from your hand to, hand or face-up field to the grave. Special summon this card, then you can special summon a monster from either grave to your field. Send, but send all monsters, special summon this by this effect, to the grave at the end of the battle phase. You would literally need to come up with, the, come up with your board during the battle phase, which is just so stupid. I'm I'm not even gonna justify how bad how bad the card is, honestly. It's just so bad. Next up we have we have we have we have Omerda Omerda Kalup Kalupo? Kalupo, yeah. Four star Dark Beast Warrior with fourteen hundred attack and defense and both of it and the second effect is a once per turn and the first effect reads if this card is normal or special summon, equip the top card of your deck to this card as a face up and or sorry as a face down equip spell that gives it 500 attack i mean i mean i mean a 1900 beat stick i mean it's not too bad but there are so many ways you you can out a 1900 beater which is just it is what it is during each end phase which this is the second effect your opponent calls the original type of the card monster spell trap equipped by this card's first effect if they call it correctly send this card to the grave Otherwise, discard a random card from their hand, and if you do, return this card to the hand. So, it ba it basically forces your opponent to determine what card it is, and it's essentially a double-edged sword. It can either say, I love you, or it can say, go fuck off. Plain, plain and simple. Next up, we have Reincarnating Shamisen Cal Cal Calico? Yeah, Calico. Uh, three-star dark zombie synchro tuner, 1600 attack, 1200 defense, and requires a tuner and one or more non-tuners. Uh, both of its effects are once per turn, and the first effect reads, during your opponent's main phase, which is a quick effect, you can synchro summon. So it, so the first effect is, is, is essentially a formula synchron on its own, which is just absolutely insane. Help you go, help you go go into pretty much any like any like any like zombie synchro which I'm actually gonna look up zombie synchros on Nexus category let's go synchro card pool TCG OCG all type in zombie Actually, type. Let's go zombie. And let's search. Let's see what. Let's see what. What. Let's see what zombies that. Let's see what kind. What zombies you can go into just using that card alone. You can go into cards such as. Gasha Doroku. Dokuro, the, the Skeletal Mayakashi, Shirinui Sun Saga, Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord, Yoko, Yoko the Graceful Mayakashi, Shirinui Shogun Saga, 
Skeletal Dragon Felgran, Tengu the Winged the Wing Mayakashi, Red Eye Zombie Necro Dragon, Shirunui Squire Saga, Archfiend Zombie Skull, Shirunui Samurai Saga, Revived King Hades. Let's see what you do. Oh, you, oh, never mind. N never mind. You would need um, you would need uh, Plague Spitter to to summon Hades. But what does it do? Uh, negate the effects of effect monster destroyed by battle with zombie type monster control. Oh, that's not too bad. Doom Kaiser Dragon. Oh, you would need um, Plague Spreader for that. Um, Immortal Dragon would be an another one you can go into. Uh, Sujigo uh, Sujigumu, the Poisonous Mayakashi. Uh, Shirinui Sword Saga. Calico is basically the formula single. And you can also go into, um, I would say, I would say you, you go into Oboro Garama, the Wheeled Mayakashi, but you really can't because it's a three star. But... Basically, those are just some of the some of the zombies you can go into just with this card alone, and it, and it would basically give you access to pretty much to, to to a myriad of of negations or you know slash disruptions depending on what on what you want to summon. Honestly, I've never worked with zombies before. And I'm seriously tempted to build them. But I don't know what route I should take, whether I should go the control route or more of a beatdown strategy. I don't, I, I, I'm not so sure. But the second effect reads, reads, if this card is, if, if this card is in your grave, you can target one other synchro in your grave, return it to the extract and special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. How do you bypass the banish effect? Use it as exceeds material, plain and simple. Not much else to say about that. Um, next up we have Volo the Doom, Originator Vassal Dr Vessel Dragon, which is a rank a rank six dark zombie exceeds with 2400 attack, 1300 defense, and of course two or more level six monsters. Uh, the second effect is a once per turn. The first effect reads: Monsters you control gain 100 attack and defense for each card in your opponent's grave. Second effect, which is a quick effect, reads: You can target one card in your opponent's grave, then then detach one or two materials from his card. To, act, to activate this effect based on the number detached. One, shuffle shuffle in shuffle into the deck. Two, two, if it's a monster, special summon to your field and face up attack position in, in face up attack or face up defense or face down defense. Otherwise set, set it to your field. Not too bad. I mean I mean I mean it would give you board I mean I mean it would give you board presence, so it's not too bad. It, it's like it's kind of like a monster reborn of sorts, so it's not too bad. Next up, we have Calamity Upon the Hidden City, which is a continuous spell, and it reads: Your opponent cannot target face down defense position monsters you control with card effects, which is the first effect. Second effect reads: Monsters you control that were flipped face up while this card was face up on the field gains 1500 attack and defense. Third effect reads: If this card is in your in is in your back row, I'm sorry. If if this card in, in your back row is destroyed by by an opponent's card effect, you can target a monster in your grave, special summon it, and face down defense. So this works with um, this could definitely this basically works with the with the the sub terra strategy. So for the, so for all of you uh, for all of you uh, sub terror players out there, there you go, there you go. You basically have another another uh, card to tell your opponent fuck you in. Um, and there's a note here that says, yes, that's the Hidden City Field spell from the Subterra archetype. Yeah, I was right. I was right. I was right. It's basically for, for Subterras, which is hilarious. Um, oh, what? Okay, I, so we have another Bamboo Sword. You guys are wondering, wait a minute, Bamboo Sword, what the fuck? So, a long time ago... So, so, so a number of years ago, Konami Kon, Konami released a, a pretty. They had released a, ser, a, a series of cards called 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 the called the the bamboo swords. Each of them has their own effect. So, 
So, Golden Bamboo Sword reads, 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 if you control a Bamboo Sword equip spell, draw two cards. So, it's it's essentially a Pot of Green, which is pretty crazy. Soul Devouring Bam Bamboo Sword, which is the only, which is a continuous spell, and it reads, and it reads, select a monster equipped with a Bamboo Sword equip spell. If, if it inflicts battle damage to your opponent while equipped with a Bamboo Sword card, they skip their next draw phase. Destroy this card during your second standby phase after activation. So pair so pair this off with the with the cursed bam, bamboo sword, and you essentially just and you essentially have your your like your like your what was it your yada lock basically, which is pretty insane. Um, but I'll get to the cursed cur, cursed bamboo he, here in a second. Um, burning bamboo sword's effect reads. Reads, if you activate a bamboo sword card while this card is already face up in your back row, you can skip your opponent's next main phase once. So you would need to have have Cursed Bamboo and Burning Bamboo and Soul Devouring on board to just completely ruin your opponent's play, which is insane. Um, then of course too we have we have broken bamboo sword which reads Which reads the equipped monster gains zero attack. That's it. it. It gains nothing. Um, Cursed Bamboo Sword's effect reads, reads, The equipped monster gains zero attack. You can target one of the Bamboo Sword card in control, return to the hands, and if you do, the equipped monster can attack your opponent directly this turn. You can only use th this effect once per turn. If this card is sent to the grave, you can add a Bamboo Sword card from your <coughs> deck to your Ooh, excuse me. From your deck to your hand, accept this card. So basically... So basically, you would have to go, you would have to go curse, 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 bam, curse, bam, that curse bamboo sword, burning bamboo sword, and then soul devouring, soul devouring bamboo sword. Um, and then, and then to, and then basically, just attack your. Attack your opponent for whatever damage you that it takes, and then Soul Devouring's effect would would then trigger, and they would skip they would skip their their draw phase, and then you go to main phase two. Curse Bamboo Curse Bamboo Sword's effect would trigger, and you would have to bounce Soul Devouring Bamboo Sword back to to the hand. That was ba basically the, the the combo for a new like Yada Lock, and and you would skip your opponent's main phase one. Now we have a brand new sword called True Bamboo Sword, which is a equip spell and it has three separate effects. The first effect reads the equipped monster gains zero attack, which is normal. Second effect reads if this card, if the equipped monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent by by a direct attack. You can destroy all monsters they control. So you would literally, you would literally have to use this, use the bamboo strategy in crystal in the advanced crystal beast to um, to make to make to make the effect work basically. And then and then the third effect reads: if this card, if the equip, if this equipped card is sent to the grave, you can equip a bamboo sword equip spell from your deck to a face-up monster on the field. Accept this card. So it's so it's it's not too bad. It base it basically can, it's essentially a Raigeki for for the most part, which is pretty cool. Uh, how, how many cards do we have? We have one, two. We have two more cards, guys. Two more cards to talk about, and that is it. Next up, so next up we have Simult Simult Simul Simul yeah Simul Archfiends, which is a normal trap, and the effect reads. Reads, neither player can special summon monsters with the same type. Ritual Fusion, Synchro, Exceed, or Link. As as a monster they control for the rest of this turn. Also, if you do not control more than one each of those types, all Ritual Fusion, Synchro, Exceed, and Link monsters you currently control gain 500 attack. So, I mean, you would literally have to have, have only one, one of each type in order to gain... To gain the 500 attack, which is okay, but it's just really bad. It's really, really bad. 
And then last up, we have Star Crossed Meeting, which is a normal trap and has two separate effects. The first effect reads, Reveal one ritual monster from your hand, add a ritual monster with the same level but a different name from your deck to your hand. Uh, second effect reads, read, you can banish the card from your grave, then send a ritual spell from your deck to the, from your hand to the grave. This effect becomes that card's effect that ritual summons a monster with when the card is activated. So, this basically works with, um, this can actually work, I believe, with the Necroz strategy, so, that's, that, that, so, that's actually not too bad, but, guys, that's gonna do it for this video, and that brings me to, to the question of the day. Are you guys planning on getting a box or a case of this set, or are you guys just gonna buy the singles? Let me know down down in the comments below, and that will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! news videos, which get posted every Tuesday, sometimes on weekends, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way. And make sure you guys follow me on all of my social media. Links will be in the description below. As will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is, this is your boy Nash, signing out.